here's what you'll need for this project. One cat and sew fat quarter. We're using Kona cotton. Sewing machine, fabric scissors, four inch zipper, embroidery needle, brown thread, and fiber mill. Cut out all the pattern pieces. With right sides facing, sew the front and back arms together with about a one quarter inch seam allowance, making sure to leave the edges with the red dotted lines open. Turn each right side out and press flat. Repeat for the front and back tail pieces. Stitch the opening of the tail closed. Fold under and press along the red dotted line at the bottom of the face piece. Repeat for the strip at the top of the body piece. Fold and press under one half inch at the bottom of the inner face lining and the top of the inner front lining. Pin the zipper to the front body, lining up the dotted red line with the zipper teeth. Stitch in place. Repeat to attach the face. You should now have a complete cat front. With the right sides facing, sew the inner face and front lining pieces to the back lining piece, leaving the mouth section open and ready to attach to the zipper layer. It's time to make a cat sandwich! With right sides facing and the zipper open, pin together the front body and the back body with the arms and optional tag positioned between the two layers. Stitch together. And turn your pencil case right sides out. Top stitch along the line that divides the head from the ears so they are no longer accessible from the inside. Keeping the lining inside out, insert it through the open zip mouth and smooth it out within the body of the pencil case. Then, sew the folded edges of the lining mouth opening to the inner sides of the zipper. Matching the tail up with the red cross mark on the back, attach the tail by hand stitching. We used a whip stitch, but you can also use a cross stitch or a small button as decoration. And you're done! Your pencil pouch is complete. 